eating popcorn. Bro, you know what time it is right now? Yeah, it's 11.30 p.m. Okay. Why? You're gonna get fat from eating the carbs at night, bro. No, that's actually a misconception. Remember There's what I told you before? Carbs. carbs at night. At Insulin night. Insulin spikes. You get fat, bro. Oh, okay. Best of luck you with your goals eating that. Carbs at night. Shakes at 2 in the morning. I'm gonna enjoy my night, eat my popcorn, and watch a movie. Have a good night. Do you really want to end up like that guy? <laughs> As we know, carbohydrates are one of the most misunderstood macronutrients out there and have a terrible rap ever since the Atkins diet came out years ago. Even though many people dismiss all those claims from the Atkins diet because it was complete bullshit, to be honest, still today people fear carbs. Most people fall under one of two categories. Sorry about that. Mm. Oh. You got those who love carbs, those who fear carbs, those who fear carbs but love carbs but are afraid to eat carbs. <laughs> I was one of those people who was a carbophobe. I didn't want to eat carbohydrates after 6 o'clock because I was told by countless number of people that carbohydrates make you fat. You'll see that in magazines and articles still to this day. I saw a Facebook post recently on a page that I'm not going to disclose, but it said that in order to keep your waistline thin or trim, avoid carbohydrates at least three hours before bedtime. Well, that is a misunderstanding of energy in versus energy out, a 24 hour macronutrient intake day after day after day. There's, a, again, a very common misconception that carbohydrates are going to be stored to fat, and that's a process called de novo lipogenesis. And now you're probably thinking, what the hell is this kid talking about? Just Google it. All you really need to know is carbohydrates are rarely converted into fat. So timing of when you eat them, the body doesn't care. Granted, it would probably be beneficial to eat them around your workout for performance reasons, but don't fear eating them at night. It's Again, it comes down to your total daily energy requirements and your overall macronutrient intake over the course of 24 hours for consecutive days. If you're eating in a calorie surplus more than your body needs to maintain its current weight, that is where the weight gain and the fat gain is going to come from not because you ate a lot of carbohydrates. So that's something that's, that's un, uh, misunderstood very often. So again, I'm keeping this video as simple as possible. We can get into the body's capacity to store glycogen in the muscles, in the liver, uh, free glucose in the bloodstream, stuff like that. But it's really irrelevant because it's just gonna fill your mind full of garbage. Well, not garbage, good information, but you know, this video is supposed to just help you understand that carbs at night are not going to make you fat. Um, again, like I said, the whole de novo lipogenesis thing, carbohydrates being um, stored as fat, this is when you chronically and massively overfeed with carbohydrates for consecutive days, and that is when your glycogen stores are maxed out. So let's say that you're eating above your total daily energy requirements, more than your body needs, and you're piling upwards of 700 to 1,000 grams of carbs on top of that day after day after day after day, this is going to max out your body's glycogen stores and that's when it's going to convert into fat storage. Another thing a lot of people aren't aware of is the more carbohydrates that you eat, the more carbohydrates you're going to burn because you're going to slow down the oxidation of fat. Your body prefers to oxidize carbohydrates. 
That is the simplest explanation and knowledge I could throw your way as far as don't be this guy. Love your carbohydrates. They're great. They taste good. They give you energy. Like I said before, you don't have to lay in bed and eat baked potatoes or sweet potatoes. But if you choose to have a snack late at night, um, you don't have to eat cottage cheese or slam a protein shake because that's another thing people are unaware of. Any macronutrient in excess is going to lead to weight gain. So just because you think protein helps you build muscle, if you're slamming a protein shake, two scoops, 50 grams of protein in the middle of the night, if you're still above your body's maintenance calorie level, you're going to gain weight, regardless of if it's the most amazing isolate protein out there with no fat, no carbs. If you're eating more than your body needs to maintain its weight, you are still going to gain weight, regardless of the macronutrient. So don't fear carbs, love them, eat them. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to message me here or on Facebook. I can clear some stuff up for you if there's something that I didn't cover here in this video. But again, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Don't worry about eating carbohydrates late at night. Worry about your overall 24 macronutrient intake day after day after day. Keep hitting your numbers and tracking your macronutrients and calories and you won't have to worry about you know, eating celery at midnight because you're scared to eat a bowl of popcorn. And that's about it. So thanks again for following. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped out a little bit. Once again, I was trying not to go too in depth with this because I want to keep it simple for you and just help you understand. Don't, don't fear carbs. And again, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. So thanks again for watching my videos and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh God, this kid again. Carbs make you fat, bro. No carbs at night for this kid. You miring? You miring that, bro? Come at me. You can keep eating your carbs. Me, no carbs at night. Protein shakes, two in the morning. That's what I do. Casein, slow digestion. Keep eating your carbs. Keep getting fat. Peace.